inspires me? What inspires me is people doing something for the first time, because that's the scariest. And I believe that the first time is the key to making it easier for a lifetime. You know, I love Rudy Rudiger, and he has a great quote. He says, uh, people aren't afraid of hard work. They're afraid of hard work not paying off. And it's that crucial first time that opens the floodgates. I remember when I was early on in my stand-up career, my comedy mentor, uh, Dave Fitzgerald, said that he heard this inspirational quote from a Zig Ziglar seminar in the 80s, and I, I don't know who it's from. He didn't remember, but it was... Something worth doing right is worth doing wrong first. And that is so true. Uh, so many people are afraid of that first step or they're, they're thinking it's a pass-fail on that first one. If it goes good, great. If it doesn't, <laughs> forget it. It's over. And that's not the truth. The first time is just the key. I've seen many comedians who their first time was great and then they never did it again because they were afraid they might not be as good. And people like myself, my story, first time was horrible. There was nowhere to go but up. But I just, there's, there's so much potential for everyone. But they're so afraid of that first step. When you look at a lot of first steps for people were horrible. Uh, my first step on stitches. You know, in my championship speech, I talk about Dr. Goddard and his first step. He was trying to reach the moon. And it only made 41 feet. That's why people laughed at him, thought he was crazy. Uh, I remember talking to my buddy Ed Tate, who uh, talked about the first time he created a product. Ed told me this great story, and it's a challenge for every new speaker or every speaker starting to create product. Mm -hmm. uh, and it just can be a daunting task. But Ed, tell tell them what, tell them the story you told me. Uh, my first product, it was a very painful process. A good friend of mine won some studio. Take two. A good friend of mine owned studios, and we literally were in the studio for days and days and days. And it was a painful process. I'm sitting behind a microphone, I'm sitting in a chair reading, and after about a week or so of trying to produce this product, the day before it was due, we decided, you know what, it wasn't just that, it wasn't that good. So we decided that we would scrap the project for now and try it again later. Now we tried it in a couple weeks and we were able to get it done. But I got to tell you, it was a painful process. Mm. And you said that he, he was a little frustrated with you because it would have been $10,000 to use the studio time. He said we had used exactly $10,000 of studio time. Oh. And when, we, when I said that, look, let's not release this, it's not good enough. <laughs> he says, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you crazy? But we both came to our senses and we both agreed that that first cut, it just wasn't good enough. And thankfully that we did stop. And we did take some time away from the project and we came back and eventually we got it done and eventually I sold you know tens of thousands of dollars worth of that product but it was a painful process but uh, two things i picked up from the stories number one because you went through the process you grew and it became more doable and better the second time correct the second time around it was much easier and the third time around it was even easier than that and today there's no challenge in terms of creating products whatsoever but that first time whew, <laughs> Thank you for bringing up those memories. <laughs> but you, you also pointed out the fact that you learned some things that were invaluable in the second time. Like you learned that standing up, you had so much better energy. Absolutely. We learned a lot. Of, a lot I learned a lot of things. Number one, stand up and you have a lot of energy. The other thing I learned is in this particular case, it was a lot more, it was easier for me sometimes if I have an audience. So sometimes when I'm creating a new product, I'll actually invite some neighbors over. Like one time I actually had neighbors come over. I, I bribed them with, with sodas and popcorn. And they were just my studio audience so I can have people to talk to. <laughs> so it was, it was a lot easier. But again, you learn these things along the way. But you know, the one thing I like about your uh, program, That's Me on CD, you've bottled up that process. You've taken all those painful learning moments mm -hmm. and you've bottled, them, you've bottled them into a simple to use process. So you honestly, you wish you had something like this when you started. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you have absolutely no idea. You see, for all of us, that first time is really the key to setting the tone for success over your lifetime. So don't base your success on the first one. Base your success on the 50th one. 
I, even, I talked to a new Toastmaster today who was so worried about the third speech and I said get to a hundred as quick as you can. Don't let that first step be the thing that blocks you.